If you think it looks ugly now, folks, try retiring without being invested. All that and so much more on making money. You know, speaking of uh, hoping for bad things, Wall Street has been rooting against independent retail investors in their favorite stocks uh, for a long time now. Some of those stocks are really going down. Here's an interesting thing. Kathy Woods uh, saw actually $800 million in outflows out of her ARC fund. Scott, you know, I'll go back to you on this. I, I never really understood the notion of rooting against other people, whether they're in the market or anything else, except for, you know, let's say, face it, Philadelphia Eagles fans. But <laughs> some would rather see, I guess Wall Street just wants to see regular folks line up, you know, and just hand their money over, buy the typical Wall Street products. But it's just, this, this whole thing is rubbing me the wrong way. It's just your thoughts. Yeah, me too. I mean, look, the, the world is big enough. There's enough money out there for everybody to succeed or a lot of them to succeed. Uh, investors need to have choice too, Charles. I mean, if you limit the amount of options that an investor has, uh, that could limit out, limit out the outcomes they're going to have too, as far as their portfolios. And then secondarily too, if you think about Kathy Wood and some of the other newer, kind of more uh, shiny strategies that are out there, those actually add liquidity to the markets too. So when you're kind of looking at things over maybe a 30,000 foot view, I think more the merrier. And also over time, the funds that provide the most return and then less risk for those investors. Those are the funds that are going to get the money anyway. So you do it on a merit basis, right. and therefore those are the funds that get the flows. Robert, you work with a lot of retail investors. Are they losing their zest or their zeal for this market in general? You know, not at all, Charles. And I, I think, you know, to, to Scott's point, and we were looking at this, you know, actually just yesterday, we're using that as a contrarian indicator. Those outflows, if you look at the last few times of the ARC fund, that's really been a good time to go in and buy. And, you know, to the old Wall Street guys, look, the industry is changing. They have, they're going to get disrupted. They're very, very worried about protecting their 1% asset management fee. They know information is becoming available to these investors. So anything they can do to delay that until these 50, 60 year old guys can retire, they're going to try to push back on that. But the individual <laughs> investor with shows like yours, Charles, are being empowered and they're you know, losing more and more respect for those Wall Street guys.